Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Vivan Education. We are discussing a chapter 2 linear equations in one variable. In that, in previous class, we completed exercise 2.4. Right? Today, we will discuss about the exercise 2.5. Exercise 2.5. In first bit, we are having 12 sums. These 12 sums will complete now. And this exercise 2.5 is all about the Reducing equation to simpler form or uh, equations reducible to linear form. We are reducing the given equations to the linear form. Okay, first one. First question is uh, n by 5 minus 5 by 7 is equal to 2 by 3. So, in this exercise, totally he given about the total fractions. Uh, in this we had to find the value of variable n here. Okay. This implies we will do here. First we will write the given question. n by 5 minus 5 by 7 is equal to 2 by 3. If you observe clearly. Here these two are the constants. Here it is a variable. For, we'll, uh, to, to find the value of n. Uh, we should uh, transpose the minus uh, 5 by 7 to the RHS side. This implies n by 5 is equal to. 2 by 3, if you transpose the minus 5 by 7 to the RHS side, minus quantity becomes what? Plus, plus 5 by 7. This implies n by 5 is equal to, considering the LCM of the denominators, 3 comma 7, 3 and 7 both are prime numbers, so you can multiply directly, 3 7 are 21, is the LCM. In 3 tables, 21, 7 times, 3 7 is 21. 3 numerator is what is it here? 2. 7 into 2 plus. Now in 7 table 21 how many times? 3 times. 7 3 is 21 into numerator of 7 is what? 5. This implies n by 5 is equal to multiplication. 7 2 is 14 plus 3 5 is 15 by 21. This implies n by 5 is equal to 14 plus 15. 10, 10, 20, 25 plus 4, 29. 29 by 21. Now, we had to find the value of n here. Already we are reduced here. Now, we had to, we had to find the value of n. Nothing but the, what is it here? Denominator 5 is there. Now, if you do multiplication. Nothing but denominator becomes what here? Multiplication. n is equal to 29 into 5. Or you can say by doing cross multiplication by 21. This implies n equals to 5 9 is 45, 4 is a carry, 5 to the 10, 10 plus 4 is 14 by 21. Therefore, n is equals to 145 by 21. See, we are first, this is a given question. We are reducing here to find a value of n. Here we got n is equals to 145 by 21. So, how do I mean by, by separating the constants here? To the RJ side, we got the value of n. This is about what? Question number 1. Next, question number 2. x by 3 minus x by 4 is equal to 14. So, what is the given question here? x by 3 minus x by 4 is equal to 14. If you observe here, clearly he given two are variables here. Yes, these two are variables. Huh? So, no, no need to find, no, he not given a constant, right? So, directly I am considering the LCM of the denominators here. This implies again here, 3 comma 4. Here, 3 is a prime number and 4 is a composite number. Prime and composite means you can take a directly LCM. Nothing but you can multiply 3, 4 is a 12. 12 is a LCM. Now, here, in 3 table 2, how many times? 4 times into, what is the numerator of 3 here? X, nothing but 4 into X, symbol is minus in 4 double 12, how many times? 3 times. 4, 3 is 12. Into, what is the numerator of 4 here? x is equals to 14. This implies 4 into x becomes how much? 4x minus 3 into x is 3x by 12 is equals to 14. Clear? Now, subtraction. These two are what? Like terms, right? 4x minus 3x is what? 1x or x by 12 is equals to 14. Now, we are almost we got in reduced form. Now, we have to find the value of x here. x is equal to, it becomes what? 14 into 12. Doing what here? Cross multiplication or division quantity. Becomes what? Multiplication. 
This implies x is equals to 14 into 12. 14 10 is 114. Right? And 14 to the 28. 140 plus 28 is almost 168. Therefore, the value of x is equal to how much here? 168. Clear? This is about what? Question number 2. Next, question number 3 is given as a z by 2 plus z by 3 minus z by 6 is equal to 8. Okay? Nothing but what is given here? Given a 3. Till here given only 2, 2. Terms so here now he given about what a three three variables he given right so what is given here z by two plus z by three minus z by six is equals to eight so first what I did we had to consider the LCM of the denominators this is equals to LCM two comma three comma six right we know two three six two one the two three won't go writing as this and 2, 3 is a 6. So, 3 table, it will come right. 3 table, 1 won't go writing as it is. 3, 1 is a 3 and 3, 1 is a 3. Now, 2 into 3. How much LCM is? 6 is the LCM of the denominators here. Now, compare the denominators here. In 2 table, 6 how many times? 3 times. Into what the numerator here? Z plus. Now, here 3 table 6 how many times? 2 times. 3 to the 6. Into what the numerator here? Again, Z Symbol is minus. In 6 table 6 how many times? 1. Into what the numerator of 6 here? Z is equals to 8. Clear? This is equal. This implies 3 into Z is 3Z plus 2 into Z is 2Z minus 1 into Z is 1Z or Z by 6 is equals to 8. Okay. This implies 3 plus 2 is 5. 5z, 5z minus 1z, nothing but 4z by 6 is equals to 8. Okay, because all these are all what? Like terms, first I am adding, then we are subtracting. 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 minus 1 is 4. This implies 4z is equals to what? 8 into 6, doing cross multiplication or division quantity if it transpose to the RHS side, because RHS side it becomes what? Multiplication. This implies 4z is equal to 86z 48. This implies z is equal to 48 by 4. This multiplication becomes what here? Division. Cancellation 4 1s are 4 and 4 1s are 4 and 4 2s are 8. This implies z is equal to how much? 12. So after reducing form, so linear form we got done, then answer how much we got here? z is equal to 12. So here we had to know compulsory how to find the LCM of the denominator compulsory. If you know the LCM, then only you will get the answer. Right? This is about what? Question number 3. Next. Question number 4. Question number 4 is uh, what given? 2P by 3 minus P by 5 is equals to 11 2 by 3 think but he given what here mixed fraction he given mixed fraction solution first we'll get the question 2p by 3 minus p by 5 is equals to 11 2 by 3 first we had to convert this mixed fraction to the improper fraction right so here i'm writing 11 2 by 3 is equals to Denominator is 3. First we had to multiply. 11, 3 is a 33. Plus numerator is 2. 33 plus 2 is a 35. We know that uh, mixed fractions we can convert into improper fractions. Right? As well as improper also we can, we can convert into the mixed fraction. This implies. So now first here uh, we will consider the LCM of the denominators. 3 comma 5. 3 and 5. Both are what? Uh, prime numbers. Right? We can multiply directly here. 3 into 5 is equal to almost 15. 15 is the LCM of the denominators. First here. Okay. Now again compare the denominators. 3 is there, 15 is there. In 3 table 15 how many times? 5 times. Into what is the numerator of 3? 2p. 5 into 2p. Minus. In 5 table 15 how many times? 3 times. 5 3 is the 15. Into what is the numerator of 5 here? 
P is equal to so mixed fraction we are converting to improper fraction. What is answer? 35 by 3. Clear? This implies 5 to 0, 10 and variable is P minus 3 into P is 3P by 15 is equal to 35 by 3. Clear? This implies, now these two are what? Like terms, we can subtract 10p minus 3p, nothing but 10 minus 3 is 7. 7p by 15 is equal to 35 by 3. Clear? This implies, what I am here? 7p is equal to, this doing division quality becomes what here? Multiplication becomes 35 into 15 by 3. Clear? Because the uh, Doing here cross multiplication or a division quantity becomes what here multiplication. Now 3 ones and 3 fives are right. This implies 7p is equal to 35 into 5. So <coughs> we done almost a reducible form. But we, here we had to find the value of p. Nothing but multiplication quantity becomes what here division. p is equal to 35 into 5 by 7. Division, multiplication becomes a division. 7 ones are and 7 fives are 35. This implies P is equal to how much? 5 fives are 25. So the, the, therefore the value of P is equal to 25. Okay. So this condition is given out, given what here? Given about the mixed fraction. Mixed fraction we are converted into the improper fraction by taking LCM. We got uh, and uh, we reduced this given equation. Then we got the value of P is equal to how much here? 25. Clear? This is about what? Question number 4. Next. Question number 5. Question number 5 is also same. It given what? The 9 1 by 4 is equals to Y minus 1 1 by 3. He given both the LHS side and the RHS side as a mixed fractions. First we will write the given question 9 1 by 4 is equals to y minus 1 1 by 3. Right? This implies first what, what is the first step we had to convert this one to the improper fraction first. So 4 9 is 36. 36 plus 1 is 37 by 4 is equals to y minus 3 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 by 3. Clear? Converting mixed fraction to the improper fraction, mixed fraction to the improper fraction. Okay, then see these two are what constants. The what fractions? These two are separating to get the value of y here. So keeping y as it is 37 by 4. Now if you transpose the minus quantity to the RG side, minus becomes what a plus? Plus 4 by 3. It's clear. Just uh, what I am doing, I am transposing to the RHS side, L LHS side. So minus because what? Plus, uh, just I am writing reverse on this one. This is equal to, this implies y is equal to, now consider the LCM of the denominators. So 4, 3. Again, this is what a uh, prime and composite numbers we can multiply directly. 4, 3, nothing but 4 into 3. How much LCM? 12 is the LCM of the denominators here. Now in 4 table 12, how many times? 4, 3 is a 12. 4, 3 is a 12. And what is the numerator of 4 here? 37. Nothing but 3 into 37 plus. In 3 table 12, how many times? 4 times. 3, 4 is 12 into what is the numerator of 3 here? 4. Clear? This implies y equals to 37 into 3. 37 times of 3. 3 is 21. 3, 3 is a 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. 111 plus 4 fourths 16 by 12. This implies y is equals to triple 1 plus 16. 6 plus 1 is 7. 1 plus 1 is 2 and 1. I think about how much? 127 by 12 is the answer. Okay. In this condition, just he given a 2 or Mixed fractions. So this mixed fractions we have to convert it into the improper fractions. Then uh, separating the constant terms and we are taking the LCM. Nothing but we are reducing the equation. Then we got the value of y is equals to 127 by 12. Right? This is about question number 5. Question number 6. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज वॉट एक्स बाय टू माइनस फोर बाय फाइव प्लस एक्स बाय फाइव प्लस थ्री एक्स बाय टेन इज इक्वल टू वन बाय फाइव राइट वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन गिवेन एक्स बाय टू माइनस फोर बाय फाइव प्लस एक्स बाय फाइव प्लस थ्री एक्स बाय टेन इज इक्वल टू वन बाय फाइव वेरिएबल कॉन्स्टेंट वेरिएबल वेरिएबल कॉन्स्टेंट सो वॉट एम डूइंग आई एम सपरेट इन द कॉन्स्टेंट टू द आर एच एस नथिंग बट माइनस क्वानिटी बिकॉज वॉट प्लस फाइव दिस फ्रैक्शन माइनस फोर बाय फाइव इफ यू ट्रांसपोज टू द आर एच एस साइड माइनस बिकॉज वॉट प्लस फोर बाय फाइव देन वॉट इल एपन एस एक्स बाय टू प्लस एक्स बाय फाइव प्लस थ्री एक्स बाय टेन इज इक्वल टू वन बाय फाइव Now I'm transposing minus four by two to the RHS side because what a plus four by five. Is it clear? So now see if you see on LHS side we having a variable terms and RHS side we having a constant terms, right? This implies now what we do is consider the LCM of the denominators two comma five comma ten. LCM what a you get ten only, right? So if you want this two five ten. Two ones are five two won't go as it is, and two fives are ten. And five table five won't go one as it is. Five ones are and five ones are. Then two into five is equals to ten. Ten is the LCM. This implies ten is the LCM. Now compare the number here into five. Two table ten. How many times? Five times. Two fives are ten. Into what the numerator here? X. Writing as it is. Plus. Now compare here. Five table ten. How many times? Two times. Five twos are ten. Into what the numerator of five here? X. Again plus. In ten table ten, how many times? One time. Into what the numerator of ten here? Three x. Is equals to. Now come coming to the other side. Ah, uh, what is the denominator here? Five and five. At the bottom we had consider the LCM. Five comma five. LCM is five. This for what a uh, like fractions, right? Therefore, you can add a numerator directly. I think, but one plus four, because these two are what like fractions. Uh, directly, you can add the numerators. This implies here on the left side, multiplying here five into x is five x plus two into x is two x plus three x one zero three x by ten is equals to one plus four is five by five. Okay. Now here I am adding these uh, like terms here. Five plus two is seven. Then seven plus three is a ten. Ten x by ten is equals to five by five. This implies what you can say about these two. Ten ten will be cancelled. Numerator denominator and five five will be cancelled. Then x is equals to what is the answer? One because five ones are one. So five ones are five and ten ones are ten. That means x is equals to one is the answer. Okay. In this case, uh, he given a uh, what again? Three are variables and two are constant. We are transposing one constant to the RHS side. Then we are taking the LCM. Then uh, nothing but we are reducing the given equation. Then we are getting the value as x is equal to one here. Okay. This is about question number six. Next uh, question number seven. Question number seven is what? Uh, x by two minus one by four. Is equals to x by three plus one by two. Okay, given a uh, both sides are uh, one uh, variable constant, variable constant. The one in the form of fractions he given, right? First we will separate that one. We write a question first. X by two minus one by four is equals to x by three plus one by two, right? Now separating these terms here. This implies x terms one side, like terms x by two. Now this is. Uh, Plus quantity plus x by three. If you transpose to the LHS side, plus quantity becomes what? The minus x by three is equals to one by two. Now separate this fraction, the but constant to the RHS side. Minus quantity becomes what? The plus one by four. Okay, x terms is there here, constant is there. Now compare. Now taking the LCM here. LCM of the denominator how much here? Two comma three. Nothing but these two are what? The prime numbers. Directly can multiply. Two three is a six. Six is a LCM here. Now in two table six how many times? Three times. Two three is a six. Numerator is what x. The number three into x symbol is minus. In three table six how many times? Two times. Into what the numerator of three here? X. 
getting as it is. Now coming to the RHS side, 2 comma 4. What is the LCM of 2 comma 4? 4 only. 2 comma 4, 2 1s are, 2 2s two are. I think 2 2s two are, 4 is the LCM. Now in 2 table, 4 how many times? 2 times. Into what is the numerator of 2 here? 1 plus in 4 table 4 how many times? 1 into what is the numerator of 4 here? 1. Now coming to LHS again. 3 into x is 3x minus 2 into x is 2x by 6 is equals to 2 1s are 2 plus 1 1s are 1 by 4. Okay. Now subtract in the like terms here. 3x minus 2x is what? 1x by 6 is equals to 2 plus 1 is what? 3 by 4. This implies what? 1x or x is equals to division quantity. If you transpose to the RHS set, division becomes what? Multiplication. Then what? 3 into 6 by 4. Right? Then x equals to 2 2 is a 4, 2 3 is a 6. Right? Nothing but what will happen here? 3 into 3 becomes 9 by 2. Therefore, the value of x is equal to how much here? 9 by 2. Okay. This is about question number 7. So, all about taking LCM and separating the variable terms and the constant terms. That's it. Next one. Question number 8. Question number 8 is what? 2x minus 3 by 3x plus 2 is equals to minus 2 by 3. Minus 2x by 3. Solutions, what is given here? 2x minus 3 by 3x plus 2 is equals to minus 2 by 3. Here given in the form of equation, right? Combination he given. Till now he given x by 2 or minus 4 by 5 like that he given, right? Now he given about total equation, my expression 2x minus 3 by 3x plus 2 is equals to minus 2 by 3. In this case what we had to do means we had to do the cross multiplication. This implies uh, nothing but 3 into, it becomes uh, 3 into 2x minus 3 by doing what the uh, cross multiplication is equals to minus 2 into 3x plus 2. Just what I am doing here? Doing a cross multiplication. Now this implies what will happen? We have to remove the brackets. How will you remove the brackets? Means by applying a distributive property. Nothing but it becomes what now? 3 into 2. 3 2 is a 6x minus 3 3 is a 9. Is equals to minus into plus minus 2 3 is a 6. Nothing but having x here. And minus into plus becomes minus 2 2 is a 4. This implies, see, we got here x terms and constant. Now separating the variables and constants. 6x, here minus 6x is there. If you transpose to the LHS side, the minus quantity becomes what here? Plus. Minus becomes what here? Plus 6x is equals to minus 4. Now separate the constant. Minus then, if you transpose to the RHS side, minus becomes plus plus 9. This implies 6x plus 6x is how much? 12x is equals to plus minus means subtraction. 9 minus 4 is what? 5. We, reduce, we got in a reducible form. Now we have to find the value of x here. Now x is equals to 5. It's multiplication quantity becomes what? Division. Nothing but 5 by 12 is the answer. Clear? Okay. So in this method he given what time? Equal to form. Just we are doing a cross multiplication. We are getting the answer. That's it. Next time. Question number 9. Question number 9 also. Same form. 8p minus 5 by 7p plus 1 is equals to minus 2 by 4. Minus 2 by 4. You can see same process is there. Solution first we will write the given question here. 8p minus 5 by 7p plus 1 is equals to minus 2 by 4. Yes, this this uh, we can cancellation is possible right here. We can do 2 1s are 2 and 2 2 is a 4. Here only I am reducing the RHS sign. Then 8p minus 5 by 7p plus 1 is equals to minus 1 by 2. Is it clear? 
Okay. Now, what is the next step? We have to do the cross multiplication. This implies it becomes what? The 2 into AP minus 5 is equals to minus 1 into 7P plus 1. Just multiplying 2 with its numerator and the minus 1 with this denominator. Nothing but doing a cross multiplication. Now, we have to remove the brackets by applying a distributive property. 2 is a 16P minus 2 is a 10 is equals to minus 2 plus is minus 1 to 7 is 7 and the variable is P plus sorry plus into minus is minus 1 1 is 1. Now see if you observe means clearly having variables and constant. Now we have to separate these two terms. Now 16 P minus quantity becomes a plus 7 P is equals to minus 1 transpose minus 10. If you transpose the RH side, minus 10 becomes what? Plus 10. This implies 16 plus 7 is how much? 23. P on the right is 23. P is equal to how much? 10 minus 1 is 9. This implies P is equal to 9 by multiplication becomes what? Division. 9 by 23. Therefore, uh, P is equal to 9 by 23. In this form already, first what we done here? We done, we are reducing the RH set because here cancellation is possible. Here not possible, right? Here possible means we are done. Then we are doing the cross multiplication and separating the variable terms and the constant terms. Then we got the P value as how much? 9 by 23. Okay. Next, question, question number 10. Question number 10 is uh, 7 by plus 2 by 5 is equals to 6 by minus 5 by 11. Same as like 90 question. Just we had to do the cross multiplication. Then we had to separate the variables and the constant terms. First we will write the given question here. 7 by plus 2 by 5 is equals to 6 by minus 5 by 11. Right? Now this will simply we will do the cross multiplication. No, nothing but 11 into what is the numerator here? 7 by plus 2 is equals to 5 into here what is the numerator here? 6 by minus 5. How we got this one? By doing a cross multiplication. Right? This implies now to remove the brackets again we had used the distributive property. Right? 11 7s are 77 plus 11 2s are 22 is equals to again here also 5 6 are 30 by Minus 5 5 is 25. Simply we are removed the brackets. Now we observe here clearly we having the constant terms and the variable terms. Now separate the variables first here. 77 by if you transpose the plus 30 to the RH side. Plus because what? Minus 30 y is equals to minus 25. Transposing <coughs> constant to the RH side. Plus becomes minus. Minus 22. Now, these two are what? Like terms. 77 minus 30. Subtraction. This is 7 minus 0 is what? 7. And 7 minus 3 is what? 4. Then what? 47. Variable is what? Y is equals to. Two negatives we can add. 20 plus 20, 40. 45, 47. Nothing but minus 47. This implies we have to find a value of Y here. Y equals to. Minus 47 by so multiplication becomes what here? Division by 47. 47, 1 are 47. This implies y is equals to minus 1. y equals to minus 1. Just doing cross multiplication, separating the variables and constants, we got the answer as y equals to minus 1. This is about the question number 10. Next time, question number 11. Question number 11 is what? X plus 5 by 6 minus X plus 1 by 9 is equals to X plus 3 by 4. So, write the question first. Uh, X plus 5 by 6 minus X plus 1 by 9 is equals to X plus 3 by 4. Right? So, first uh, what I am doing here? Considering the LCM of the denominators here. First on LHS side. Nothing but 6 comma 9. LCM how much? It's a measure 18. Right? Because 6, 9, 2 table, 2, 3, 6, 9, it won't go writing as it is. 3, 1, 3, and 3, 3 is 9. 
So what is the LCM? 2 3 is a 6 and the 6 3 is a 18. It is, is the LCM here. Now if you compare here denominator here, in 6 table 18 how many times? 3 times. Into what is the numerator here having here? x plus 5 minus in 9 table 18 how many times? 9 2 is 18. What is the numerator of 9 here? x plus 1 is equals to x plus 3 by 4. That means first I am solving the LHS part here. This implies the denominator is 18. To remove the brackets, I am using a distributive property here. 3 into x becomes 3x plus 3 5 is a 15. Now, symbol is what is it? Minus. Minus into plus is minus. 2 into x is 2x. Minus into plus is minus. And 2 1 is a 2. Is equals to x plus 3 by 4. Right? We remove the brackets. Now we are, we are having here like terms, so 3x and 2x and constants 15 and 2. I am adding the variables first, 3x minus 2x, nothing but 1x or x. Now constant, plus minus means subtraction, then 15 minus 2 is what? 13, nothing but plus 13 by 18 is equals to x plus 3 by 4. Okay, so we are reducing from 3 to 2 here, right? LHS side and the LHS side. Again, we have to find the value of x. Again, we have to reduce this one. Now, how will you reduce means by doing here cross multiplication? It becomes what 18 into numerator. What is it here? x plus 3. Now, here denominator with the numerator. Here having 4 with x plus 13 by doing a cross multiplication. Again, here we had to remove the brackets. We had to use the property again, distributive property. 18 into x is 18x plus 18 3 is 54 right is equals to again here also 4 into x is 4x plus 4 13 is nothing but 13 4 is 52 now this implies to get the value of x first we should separate the variable terms and the constant terms here what is it 18x here rhs is having a 4x if you transpose to the LHS side plus quantity becomes a minus minus 4x is equals to 52 now transpose the plus 54 to the RHS side plus quantity becomes a minus nothing but minus 54 this implies 18x minus 4x is what 14x is equals to subtraction here 54 minus 52 is 2 now comparing 52 and 54, 54 is a greater number having minus symbol. So answer is what? Minus 2. This implies we have to find the value of x here. x equals to minus 2 by 14. We know that the multiplication becomes a division. Cancellation 2 1s are 2 and 2 7s are 14. Then uh, x is equal to what the answer? Minus 1 by 2. x equals to minus 1 by 2. This is about what? Question number 11. Right. Next, last question, question number 12 is about a 3t plus 1 by 16 minus 2t minus 3 by 7 is equals to t plus 3 by 8 plus 3t minus 1 by 14. Okay. So somewhat lengthy is there, but it is uh, easy only. We will check it here first step by step process. First we will write what he given. Given what 3t plus 1 by 16 minus 2t minus 3 by 7 is equals to t plus 3 by 8 plus 3t minus 1 by 14. Okay. So to get the answer easily. Just uh, first we had to consider the LCM of the denominator, right? So, what is the LCM of the denominator here? 16 and 7. These two are, this is a prime number, it is a composite number, right? We can multiply 16 into 7. Just here I am writing 16 into 7 as a LCM. Okay, I am not, not multiplying directly here, just I am writing as it is to get the answer easy only, okay? Now see 16 table 16 already there here. Now what is the remaining here? 7. 7 into what is the numerator here? 3t plus 1 again 16 into 7 is the LCM 16 table 16 already we got what is the remaining here 7 7 into numerator is what is it 3t plus 1 written as it is symbol is minus 
Now seven table seven will come. What is the remaining here? Sixteen. Sixteen times of the numerator. What is there here? Two t minus three. Clear? If you want, I mean, just multiply sixteen into seven. Okay? Then you will get here. What is the LCM? One thirteen. In sixteen table, one thirteen again seven times. Sir, that's why I written short form sixteen to seven. Just I am multiplying with seven this one and sixteen with second one. Okay? This is equals to. Again here consider the LCM of the denominator. Just directly I am considering here eight into fourteen to get the answer directly here. Okay? If you multiply means you will get the same answer. To get in simplest form, just I am taking directly eight into fourteen is the LCM. See here, like terms, eight eight is same as zero. Then what is the remaining here? Fourteen. With fourteen, just multiply the numerator of eight here. What is the numerator of eight here? T plus three. And symbol is plus is zero. Now compare second second one here. Fourteen fourteen same as zero. The remaining what is zero here? Eight. Eh? Now multiply eight with the numerator of fourteen. What is zero here? Three t minus one. Clear? Okay, na. This implies what happened now. We have to remove the brackets. First, we have to multiply. Use the property of distributive property here. Then seven three is a twenty one t plus seven one is a seven. Now minus into plus becomes minus sixteen two is a thirty two t. Now minus into minus it becomes plus sixteen three is a forty eight by how much sixteen into seven. Is equals to now fourteen into t is what fourteen t plus fourteen three is what forty two plus eight three is what twenty four t minus eight one is what eight by eight into fourteen is it clear yes. If you want to multiply means you can do. You will get the same answer. Okay. Now first I am adding the LHS side. I am adding the L, uh, like terms here. What are like terms here? We will write first. Twenty uh, one t minus thirty two t. Then the remaining uh, constant seven plus forty eight by sixteen into seven. Okay. Is equals to fourteen t. Plus twenty four t plus forty two minus eight by eight into fourteen. What I did here? Just I written the like terms and the constant at a time. No, we'll add a subtract here. So plus minus means subtraction. Thirty two minus twenty one. Two minus one is one. Three minus two also one. Nothing but how much? Eleven t. And that it is a greater number having minus symbol, so minus eleven t plus forty eight plus seven is how much fifty five by sixteen into seven is equals to fourteen plus twenty four is how much twenty thirty thirty four and thirty eight t plus forty two minus eight is thirty four by eight into Fourteen, right? We got the answer right here. Now again, what I what I am doing here? Now just I am. These are equal terms, right? I am uh, cancelling the denominators here. So observe clearly. Seven ones are and seven twos are fourteen. Eight ones are eight and eight twos are sixteen. Clear? Equal terms. Denominators I am cancelling. Doing cancellation here. Eight ones are eight twos are sixteen. Seven ones are seven twos are fourteen. Okay. Then uh, what we got here? We got a uh, minus eleven t plus fifty five by two is equals to thirty eight t plus thirty four by two. Okay, again two equal terms. So two two will be cancelled. So we having only numerator terms. So what is there? Minus eleven t plus Fifty five is equals to thirty eight t plus thirty four. This implies now separate the variables and constants minus eleven t minus thirty eight t is equals to thirty four. Transpose the plus becomes a minus fifty five. Clear? Transpose in the variables and the constants here. 
Now this implies that two negatives we can add. 30, 40, 48 plus 1 is 49. Minus 49t is equals to subtraction. 5 minus 4 is 1. And 5 minus 3 is 2. How much? You got 21. This implies t is equals to and here 34 and 55. 55 is the greater number having symbol minus. So the answer is minus 21. Then we have to find a value of t here. t equals to minus 21 by minus 49. Minus minus will be cancelled. 7 3 is the 21 and 7 7 is the 49. This implies t is equals to 3 by 7. Okay. Just a feel lengthy but it is easy. Okay. What I am doing first concern me LCM here. Here I am not multiplying here. Just I am taking here as it is numbers. Okay. If you multiply means we will get the numbers right here. So to get easily taking same and multiplying crossly. Okay. Then we got a. This answer and uh, here what I am doing, I am cancelling the denominators. Then we will get only numerators here. Now compare the like terms and constants, you will get the answer. Then we got t is equals to 3 by 7. Okay. So, yes, so this is about what uh, exercise uh, 2.5 first bit. Okay. I hope uh, you got it. Uh, thank you so much.